Short walk, load of fish there. Happy as I've got a chance to get a, a counter today. Oh, there, and my daughter's drawn. I've dropped it, look. And uh, she drawn 40. We draw now. Where? What number? Just here. No, fancy that. There we go. That's it. That's a draw. Right, we're back at it. It's Tuesday. Tuesday League. Now I'm not sure what round we're on. My mate texted me last night and he says, you've no idea what round you're on in any of these leagues you fishes. We've had that many cancellations, I don't know. The only thing I do know, this will be the 8th counter. But I think it's the 11th. But I'm next pegged to a man today who's going to tell me. The dock! The dock is here. What round is this? Somewhere between 7 and 10 I think, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I think it did. I've lo we've all lost count. All I know is we've had seven counters, and uh, we we lined Alex. We where, where are you? Third at minute, behind the Pickerings, aren't I? Uh, well, so I'm next peg to him today, right? And look who's straight opposite the other Pickering. She's there somewhere. So we're all chucking it same spot basically on loco. And uh, so she's drawn 40 on local. I'm 19. Alex is 17. So will record could be on today. There's, there must be that many fish. Everybody's take it Mickey out of us. But uh, I've not seen a fish top. Although our Emma says she's seen one over there, a carp top. So we haven't, we haven't seen one. So how far you behind us? I think I'm 50, 60 pound behind. Them. Something like that, aren't you? Yeah, I know it. I know. I think. Uh, it's tight, isn't it? Though. That's yeah. Oh uh, well. Well, the thing is, until you start throwing them away, it's difficult. Cause what happens is, it's best eight out of twelve. Now it should be thirteen, but one's gone. So it's eight out of twelve, and, and this will be the eighth counter. So whatever happens today, that'll be the weight. And then what you've got to do next week is catch more than the lowest weight that you've got. And some anglers have got a not a not or a zero, so it's quite hard to actually work out where you are. If that makes sense. Uh, so you'll not really know for a couple of weeks yet so uh, but this is the last counter anyway and like I said 19 I'd have put my tackle on this I wanted to draw here strip I'd have been happy on bonsai I didn't want to go on beaches I've been on it all winter I didn't want to be on beaches uh, and I've not got on here but I would have put my tackle on this peg I'm really really happy uh, with this and uh, Eddie the man in red there look you can see Eddie Bryden he's on strip again on another flyer and uh, Alan's on 57. Where's the uh, local draw bag expert? So, where they all drawn, Alex? Who's that? Speed is on 70. On, 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 bonsai. on bonsai? Oh, well, he'll get away. Mm. Mr. Scott Horn's on 57 on Bonsai. Yeah. You've seen a few fish topping his I peg saw once. a carp jump in his peg, yeah. He was moaning and then one jumped out anyway. Oh, all oh, right. He don't moan, Alex. No, he no, don't, you're right. Um, who, who else? else? Uh, what about Jim? Jim Hall's on 64 Bonsai. Oh, crikey. Jerome. Crikey, it must be solid there if all them are there. Where's Chappie drawn anyway? He's made money. He had a 21 pounder last week, didn't he? Oh, he's there, look! Is it? Come on, let's have a. We, we have a pound every week, and there's a chance of beating me today. So come on, last week you had 70 odd pound, didn't you? I was just warming up for <laughs> yeah, well, you. You had your biggest ever carp, right? 21 pound. 21 pound. How do you catch that? Bomb and corn, just there you go. I've just, we've just got tactics after him, so that's that's a good, a good one. <laughs> well, is, is this true? I've heard you had one twenty-one pound, chucked back out and got one nineteen pound, forty pound in chill chucks. I heard. About fat, yeah, did yeah, that's brilliant. Well done, good mate. Fish, I'm only glad I wanted to pay you a pound. That's <laughs> the only <laughs> good <laughs> thing. <laughs> when, when, I, when I saw it, wait, I were absolutely fed up. <laughs> um, so anyway, so let's have a look at me. What we're doing? Well, wind's blowing at us, as you can probably hear. So uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm not. If it were warmer, I think it were a good thing. The only trouble is, I can't feed it. I'll not be able to feed. And you've got to feed on here, and you've got to feed it tight. And with this wind, in fact, I might get our Emma to fire something over there. That might be the best thing. Straightforward. Good old bread. There you go. Corn with sensate on. I love my sensate. You've got two bottles here now, look. And I've got my micros, which I'm going to show you later. I keep telling you, but I will. Tattle set up. I've got two bomb rods, and I've got... Uh, hybrid feeder right so the idea is I'm going to fish probably 40 yard out to start with with bread I'm only having one or two chucks maximum then corn then the hybrid try and lose feed corn and then a bomb and corn later on so tactics are pretty straightforward 
what I've got to do today. I could get a big weight, I could catch nothing. It's just like that here. Because all the fish have been in this bay here, they've all been here. And I'm like on the edge, you should remember all the week, oh there, 24. And I won it, and then 25's been a good peg. And 34 and 36, which are the first two pegs on the other side, they've been good pegs. So, so all the fish have been in this sort of third of the lake, and I'm probably just on the edge of them. Um, but I'm not grumbling, I think I can catch 50 pound here and get a counter. And uh, like I said, there's four to go, uh, and uh, sorry, there's five to go. And uh, after next week, we're throwing them away, and we've got to beat as lowest weight. So, wish me luck. I'll let you know how we get on. And I'd, I'd like to see a fish top. I ain't seen one top yet. And that's usually I've just been talking to Alex, and we both agreed that when we come on here, we'll like to see them top. If you see them top, they're active, and you can usually catch them. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it and uh, hopefully I don't get smashed up by the dock, young dockety. So we'll have to wait and see. But I'll tell you one thing, Ed is, Ed is, hey, oh, Ed is going to sort somebody shot me then. Ed is going to get away there on strip because that's where we wanted to be. I'd have been happy as lad he sat there. But I'm not disappointed. So let you know how we go on. Well, that's the end of round eight, I think it is. And uh, I've had a £43 summer. Two carp, 10 F1s, and about five pound of skimmers and everything. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's fished really well. Alex has had 59 pound there, I had to pay him a pound. He's had two carp, one at Great Big, and so I've only had one, and that were different really. Although it's 16 pound, they were. I can't really grumble. Um, but peg 25, which has been probably the informed peg is had £116, so we've been up right late, just wrong area, and RM has had 63 so she's up, she's caught me up a little bit. I think I'm still in front, but they've all caught, they've all caught me up now today, so uh, on strip there are 17 and 80. So there's been a few fish, but we just couldn't get bites here for four hours, just couldn't get no bites. And caught out on bread, caught out on corn, loose fed Corn when you could with wind it were horrible, it were it were proper difficult. And then we've chucked out with an hour and a half to go because peg twenty-five were catching short. So, so they said I've got to pan round because the most handsomest anglers are lind over there. Yeah, we must have some badness and that's all I can say. Eh? <laughs> and I've chucked out on the corn line, it's gone straight round, I've had an eight pound cap. Look round, Alex has got one on. 12 pound looks round he ain't got one on we all caught one at the same time and then we couldn't catch one and we've just caught some F1s at end and skimmers and roach every time I fed I got I was skimmered and roached out but to be fair it looks like it's starting to fish again um, so I think I'm still in front a uh, bit disappointed feel like I've left a couple behind but I don't know what I could have done different um, I've just needed another carp I think um, so we'll see, but uh, I know I know ben, uh, Bond's eye were fishing all right. I don't know about Benny's, but looks like f the fish are starting to feed again now, so we might get some good matches now next four weeks. So, in theory, that's the eighth round, and I think I've got about £480 now. Um, we eight matches, and the next four... And you throw your lowest weight away, which I think in my case is 20 something pound, then I've got a 30. So I've got to catch over 27 pound to be a counter. Uh, all to play for. I think RM is only 10 pound behind me now, something like that. Uh, Alex has just sneaked up a little bit further. But, you know, I'm not grumbling. I'm still winning it, and uh, but we're throwing things away now, so we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm a bit disappointed because it's a good peg, this. Um, but I just got no liners, no signs, no indications, and uh, I still caught forty-three pounds. So really, I can't grumble. And I took a pound off Chappy. <laughs> so I took a pound off. I think he's had twenty odd pound. But other side, hundred sixteen pound. They now some fish down that bank at the moment. It's uh, it's re it's a really good peg. But fair play to him. So fishing chips on way home. Get a sausage foot dog. Have a great night.